Barack Obama's historic election would have a transformational effect on America and the world. Even when I could wrap my mind around the fact that Obama could be president, I never understood that he was going to be president of the world. <laughs> I never thought I would see people in Japan screaming out Obama in the middle of my night, in the middle of their night. And so this had an impact that was far beyond anything I could have ever imagined. And, uh, and I'm just glad to be a small part of it. When Barack Obama became president, the prevailing mood in Africa was one of celebration and spiritual catharsis, and a feeling that somewhere in the cosmos, the great wheel of change had finally turned. Shall I tell you? <laughs> um, we have been waiting for this. We have been waiting for it, and um, it's here. We are over the moon. Um, he is such an inspiration to everybody, old and young, and um, particularly black people. So we are just over the moon that he's coming here. In the black world, Barack Obama's election would be hailed as the dawn of Africa's renaissance. I believe it's all very prophetic, a sign of the resurrection of Africa. With his kind of leadership in the U.S., we should all take the cue and begin to mend our ways, and we shouldn't let this opportunity pass. President Obama chose Ghana for his first state visit to sub-Saharan Africa, and Untold Stories takes you there. Ghana's modern capital city, Accra, was festooned with decorations, celebrating the new American president and the first family. Signs of welcome were everywhere. President Obama, welcome to Ghana, Akwaba. Akwaba, which means welcome. Akwaba to Ghana. When Air Force One touched down at Kokota International, the atmosphere of celebration in Accra was like Mardi Gras in New Orleans. After a night resting at one of Ghana's world-class hotels, the president would spend the morning attending ceremonial functions, then join First Lady Michelle Obama at a breakfast with Ghana's leaders and many leading citizens, including a 12-year-old Obama lookalike. Ghana's impeccable record of democracy and focus on the betterment of its people would be key factors in President Obama's selection of Ghana for his first visit to Black Africa. Mr. President, your choice of our country encourages us to remain focused and to sustain the gains that we have derived from the democratic process and deepen them for the benefit of not only the people of Ghana, but also our brothers and sisters on the continent of Africa. Like this. Thank you. Thank you. I think uh, Congress needs one of those horns. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> sounds like Louis Armstrong back there. The untold story of Barack Obama in Ghana explores the controversies. One has to understand that having covered a lot of big stories that the Americans have taken over and they are deciding who covers what. And so obviously to our surprise yesterday, some of us have been accredited, like I'm a journalist, so I've been accredited. But the, my colleague, who is an important part of the story, the cameraman, has not been accredited. The untold story of Barack Obama in Ghana takes you to a front row seat as President Obama delivers a powerful speech outlining America's Africa policy for the 21st century. And I've come here to Ghana for a simple reason. The 21st century will be shaped by what happens not just in Rome or Moscow or Washington, but by what happens in Accra as well.
Ghana's traditional chiefs and nanas are a powerful community of rulers from every region of the nation. Untold Stories gives you an eyewitness point of view as Ghana's royalty celebrated President Obama with a magnificent procession through the streets of Cape Coast. Obama in Ghana, The Untold Story features exclusive footage of the Chief's pageant and talks with Ghana's royals about plans to install beautiful Michelle Obama as an Ashanti queen. The Untold Story of President Obama in Ghana takes you to Rita Marley's mountainside retreat where the spirit of Bob Marley lives on covers a unity meeting between repatriated blacks from America and the Caribbean at the W.E.B. Du Bois Center and shares reaction to the president's Africa policy speech. Our old friend James Brown said, I don't want nobody to give me nothing. Just open up the doors and I'll get it myself. And now he's opened up the doors for Ghana. The untold story of President Obama in Ghana explores the preparations, the politics, and splendid pageantry of this historic once-in-a-lifetime occasion, the first official visit of America's first black president to sub-Saharan Africa. I promise you this, if you seize this opportunity, if you take responsibility for your future, America will be with you every step of the way as a partner and as a friend. Check your cable listings for upcoming broadcasts of Obama in Ghana, The Untold Story, an eyewitness account of President Barack Obama's historic state visit to Ghana.